Welcome back to Huchos. Today on Huchos, we'll be unboxing, reviewing, and par testing this. This is the Senelux SE1000 120 watt full spectrum grow light. Okay, so I'm not sure how it's gonna sound, but I apologize. I've got the 3D printers running in the background and they do make a bit of a whiny noise and I haven't filmed with them on before. So if this is a problem, uh, yeah, sorry. So straight away, discreet packaging, which is good. Ratchet hangers, a power board, some wire hanging hooks that I assume will go onto the LED light itself. And then we have the LED light itself. And that is quite an attractive light. Okay, so let's discuss some of the features of this light. The Centilux SE1000 is a 120 watt full spectrum grow light. It is a quantum board full spectrum grow light and has a range of Samsung 301B diodes spread out across its PCB. These diodes are 3000K warm white, 6500K cool light, and 660 nanometer infrared diodes. The diodes are coated in a IP65 rated waterproof silicon coating and the LEDs can be dimmed via a dimmer switch that is capable of 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% so that you can tailor the light to the plant's needs throughout the grow. It has a really well-designed way of hanging using two proprietary hanging hooks so that you can raise and lower the level via two ratchet straps, or you can have this light clipped over the top of your light rail at the top of your grow tent, allowing you to make maximum use of the entire growing space. The light is rated for a two foot by two foot or 600 by 600 area and its claimed efficacy is 2.3 micromoles. So let's test that efficacy in the real world and hang it over our PAR sensor. And as you can see here, the watt draw is 100.4 or just round it to 100. Okay, so I'm gonna take some temperature readings. We'll go to the driver first. So the driver is just warmer than room temperature. 20.5 degrees Celsius on the driver and that is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. On the aluminum heat sink, we've got 33 degrees Celsius and that is 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 33.7 degrees Celsius, and 92.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is running just so cool. That light is going to last a long time. So not running hot at all. Fantastic. So the manufacturer's instructions say to hang the light at 12 inches, but I hung the light at 11 inches because I feel like that was the right height. And this is the PAR map that I got. The average of that PAR map was 462. We divide that by the watt draw, which was 100, and then times it by the area, which is 0.36 square meters. We then get an efficacy of 1.66. Now, the problem with that efficacy is that the reflective environment that I'm using isn't tailored to a two by two light. Shane over at MyGrow has a specific enclosure for the two by two grow light, and his efficacy reading was 1.99 micromoles per joule. So in the future, I will be setting up a test environment that is able to test the smaller and the larger lights that go outside the range of a standard one by one or four by four grow area. And I'm a huge fan of the Migro channel. And as you can see, I've got the Migro light that Shane sent me set up behind me. As for the Centilux, it's a great compact grow light. And I think it would suit the purpose of a lot of people that are looking for a compact design for a small grow area. I can see the light being especially useful in small space grows where a low heat off-putting light is required. I actually can't believe how cool this light is running. And it definitely has a place in a lot of growers ecosystem. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Hoochos and I'll see you next time. Happy hydroponicking.